Right, so to continue, the next thing I want to do, now that we've got our bottom piece fitted to our injection module, is to work on uh, the nozzle. Now the nozzle I've got, here you'll see it here, it's, I've got it mounted in the end of my drill there. Um, it's going to obviously be a conical shape, it's going to make it to, so it slips inside of there, and I'll put a series of set screws around the outside to hold that in. Just a conical shape there. Now, what that uh, I'm actually making that out of, I think it was something like a uh, a leg a leg support or adjustable leg support. Uh, I think I've got one that hasn't been touched. Here we go. It's just something. Uh, there's one there. So it's just something I had in my scrap bin. It was around about the right size. Um, so you can see I've actually turned that then down to the conical shape. If you want to see how I did that. I actually did that on the drill press, uh, one of my other videos I've got there using your drill press as a lathe. Um, loosely speaking of course. Um, so basically I, what I was able to do, these already had a threaded hole in the end so I just screwed a bolt into the end, cut the head off the bolt, uh, mounted that in my drill press and uh, got an old chisel and uh, in my cross slide vise just gradually ran it across here up and down until eventually we got this uh, shape. So the next thing I want to do now is turn this down to fit into the end of the injection module. Um, this currently sits at about just over 37 millimeters. The internal diameter of uh, the bottom tube there on the injection model is around 27 and a bit millimeters. Um, I had a go at doing it uh, on the drill press the same as I did this, but uh, being flush like this, it uh, it wasn't working, wasn't happy, so if only for a lathe. Um, so the next solution I have, because obviously the whole point of me doing these types of videos is uh, to try and see what we can come up with and the sort of things we can do without having uh, engineering equipment, like lathes and mills and things like that. I think um, most handymen have got some sort of drill or drill press in the garage and a few hand tools, a sander or two, that's basically all I've got. Um, so what I've done is I've mounted this in my hand drill. I'm going to try, I haven't tried this yet, <laughs> so fingers crossed it works, you know, that is DIY. Uh, I'm going to try running it um, against the uh, belt sander um, and see if we can't turn this down to uh, 27 and a bit millimetres to fit snugly and I do want a snug fit to go inside. Um, the end of the injection module, I did, really don't want to have to run any sort of um, O-ring uh, in there if I can avoid it. I'm just a little bit concerned with the fact that it's going to be getting to three, 400 degrees possibly to melt the plastic and the effect that would have on the O-ring. Uh, if you've got any suggestions, uh, please comment below. Um, Alright, so I'll take you into the sander and we'll get this done. Alright, there we go. Don't mind the mess of course. And uh, as always, safety gear. Fingers crossed. Another half a millimetre. Alright, so I'm wondering, uh, we made a little bit of progress, I'm just wondering if I might be better off running that against a file. Alright, hang on.
So that's our nozzle. I might just uh, drill that centre hole out a bit from the inside. It's, um, it's definitely gonna go in there. Tight. Hopefully it conforms a little bit. We'll see how that goes, but I might just get a quite a large drill bit, drill a conical shape on the inside. So there's a uh, so we've just drilled into there, that's our part pretty much done now, you know, by engineering standards obviously it's rough as guts, but uh, hopefully it should do the trick. It is fractionally small I think going there, although it's not popping straight in, which is a, probably a good sign that I can, I can hammer that in, oh, I can just about get that in there, my hand almost. Quite square there, but it's not going to reach the piston either, which is good. Alright, so that's just, I just put a very slight, very rough as guts, on the end of that just to try and get started. This was see what happens. The problem is it doesn't appear to me to be going in straight.
concerns at this point, obviously not having any experience with plastic injection moulders, is that if we don't have a smooth, even surface around this tip to match up to the same shape on the actual metal mould, is that you'll get too much, under pressure you'll get too much <coughs> leakage. It's really nice to sit up tight into the mould. When we come to it, we have to put a rubber seal in between the two. I don't know. But, alright. They're in there pretty tight. I mean, that's not coming down. It's sealed those holes off, so. I think I'll leave that. Alright, that wraps us up for today. We've got a, for today, we've got a nozzle in there. That's all good. I'm happy. So, yes.